tell you, I had a lot of doubts about all of it. But maybe without even realizing it, he found a way to move me in. It's only natural. I dreamed of becoming a ranger. Let me tell you something. That was my shot, man. The only shot I was ever gonna have. I never stood a chance against you. Not as long as your old man was making decisions. It wasn't like that. You don't understand. Nothing has worked for me. Nothing at all since the day your old man got rid of me. What he did to me, wrecked me. And you, you should have put it all together the second you arrived on the scene, Matt. Right then, right there on the scene. And you should have confronted your dad right there and then. You started this in high school. You started hating the world when we were kids. Oh, everybody's a psychiatrist, huh? Everything was so easy for me, right? School, sports, girls. You were a part of the elite. Little club of the privileged. The rest of us, we just stood around with our tongues hanging out, just dying for a taste of the good life. What happened to you back then? What was it? Jody Potter? Come <laughs> on, I didn't build my life around some stuck-up cheerleader. Maybe you did. Rita, this is Matt Hawks. He's with the High Mountain Rangers. Oh, of course. Matt, this is my probation officer, Rita Scott. Nice to meet you. I'll see you later. Okay, buddy. I like this place. It's a good, clean environment for you, Roy. Yeah. All the customers are great, too. They're all real enthusiastic about camping and hunting and fishing and, <laughs> you know, none of that grim, heavy stuff you get in the city. I know what you mean. Yeah. And Stoney, he's, he's just a great boss. You know, he's really concerned about me. Kind of like a father. I was hoping it would work out this way. Yeah, me too. You know, I never thought I could come back, but here I am. Glad to be earning. Glad to be living a positive life. Glad to be alive, you know? be honest with you guys. I turned back from Frank's pass and I was looking smack in the sunlight and I had my arms out just like this and I prayed and the ball just plopped in. Plopped <laughs> in. It sailed through the air like a bird in flight. It didn't plop. It landed in its nest. <laughs> Izzy, is the coffee ready yet? Uh, no, you won't want to believe me. I do. Hey, Matt. Hi. Hey, you see old man? Yeah. Is everything okay with him? It's not him. Hey, Matt. You know there are no secrets here. I mean, we're all wondering about this Roy Culhane. None of us were aboard when he washed out. You gotta understand how Roy sees it. The son of the man who founded the Rangers replacing him. Well, did you take his place? That's how he sees it. Well, how do you see it? I don't. Hey, Matt, after all you've done these last few months, I can't ever doubt yourself. You're the most qualified person up here. Roy doesn't agree. Then he's a fool. He's got the right to look at it his own way. I'm sorry. This thing's just getting to me. It was um, wild looking over and seeing him rooting for the sheriffs. What's wild is, turns out he's on probation. That's right. Matt, why is he working so close to us anyway? Just a coincidence? The county got him the job. Well, can the new guy get into this? I mean, I agree with Jim. Why is he back in the mountains? I mean, isn't it strange that he landed so close to an experience that hurt him? Yeah. It's almost like he's trying to find a way to hit back. Sure. He maneuvered the county into getting him a job with Stoney. Not very likely. It's a thought. Son, get back up on him. I don't think so, Dad. What do you mean you don't think so? 
You've been real patient with me so far. What's on your mind? Let's face it, I'm a disappointment to you. Who says so? This horse, it's special, a champion. I'm not. What's going on in that head of yours, son? It's just that I don't feel comfortable on him, and he knows it. But you're beginning to feel more comfortable on him, aren't you? A little, maybe. You know what I think? I think you were doing just fine until that big brother put some doubts in your mind. It can spread like an infection. I wasn't even thinking about Matt. Infections don't think. Cody. Get up on Hi, I'm Rita Scott. Oh, yeah, you're the probation officer that just called. Right, right. and this is Roy Colhane. Sheriff? Oh, hi. Yeah, we've seen each other, Ron. How you doing? I just wanted to talk to someone face to face to remind you. Yeah, I got your letter. The court says it's okay for Roy to check in with us every two weeks. Then you can take note of his appearances and send them on down to me? Will do. Hey, Mountain Rangers, entering a mayday out in Camden Bay. Possible head injury. <laughs> That's some outfit. I tried out for him, but, uh... They're trained for high mountain search and rescue. Some guy probably out joyriding. He say Camden Bay? Yeah. That's just a few minutes out of town. Rangers are 30 miles or so in the opposite direction. It's gonna take them forever to get there. Hey, that's a very professional outfit. Don't worry, they'll get there fast. I gotta get back to work. Hey, Stoney, I just volunteered to help rescue some guy. There's an accident on the lake. What do you need? Uh, your boat, if it's all right, and this first aid equipment. The court said there's a head injury. I'll get the keys. And Roy, you be careful. Don't worry about me, Stoney. Is he? Mr. Hawks, Cody. I'm looking for Matt. He's on the field. Emergency? I'll rescue him in Camden Bay. Are we going to meet him, Dad? No. I'm retired. You're too young. Is he? You give the impression of a man that doesn't like to be left behind. It's frustrating. Well, someone has to monitor the calls. Besides, your turn will come. Can I get you some coffee? Should I say yes? Well, they tell me it's improving. Uh, maybe a little later. Like in a week or two? <laughs> Had they reported back yet? Yeah, a few minutes ago. An injured man. Cutler and Hart are on their way with the boat. Mr. Hawks, when you started the Rangers, did you have to make coffee? Of course not. He's the boss. Come on, Dad. Thank you. 